Ekomamai and uh, Aloha to my channel A Lifetime of Travels and this is the concluding episode of my recording on Hawaiian culture and language uh, discussion that I attended here at the Hyatt Regency yesterday evening. Um, so this is from one of the very senior teachers if I may say with respect uh, and authorities on Hawaiian culture and language. She came here from a different island and uh, she arrived late on a southwest flight but she was such a such an uh, engaging and inspiring and motivating and confident speaker. Uh, it reminded me of a uh, good school principal. Uh, let's hear from her on <clears throat> her experience with the Hawaiian culture and language. And I, this is the concluding episode of this series. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I bring whatever I can from my travels and um, you know, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks for watching. Mahalo. The time where we um, need to wrap up, but before that, um, I wanted to acknowledge Pomenka and Kosha, who, who you want to share. <laughs> and it was through his uh, vision that we uh, come here and share our experience on how to play Pomenka. I'd also like to acknowledge his lovely wife, Akela Taniyaki.
So it's with that that I, I want to share with you Duolingo. Um, I'm sure most of us have one of these in either our pocket or our bag or something. And I'm not sure if all of you have heard of Duolingo, but it is the most widely used educational platform um, as an app on your phone. And this app allows you to learn different languages. So before my involvement with Duolingo, I, I downloaded the app to learn Japanese and Irish. And my husband wanted to learn Swahili for some. Because <laughs> um, he didn't play Swahili friends. <laughs> um, but anyway, so it's a cool app because it's super easy. Now we've had a pushback. We've heard all kinds of things about us developing this app to learn Polelo. But as you heard earlier, this is one way. And we don't expect people to live on this app and speak to the app, and that's it. This is to get us to that point where you feel a little more confident, because learning a language is difficult. You know, after teaching language for about, <clears throat> yes. <laughs> and she said, see me, I know who she was talking <laughs> There were three of us in the room. I was like, Three of us, we know each other very well. <laughs> but uh, after teaching for that long, we have seen so many Hamana come in shaking, um, almost to tears, and there's no way to get around it. It's a language class, you gotta talk. So, you know, if you don't like talk, that's the wrong class to come. You gotta <laughs> talk. And so it's, it's nerve wracking, there's a lot of anxiety, there's all of that. So sometimes, this is a good place to start. Just you and your kelepona, you can do it in the bathroom stall, in <laughs> the car while you're waiting in the soccer game. You can do it almost anywhere. You can be a casual user, five minutes a day. You can be an intense user, and I think it's what, half hour a day or something. But it's super easy. So we have this uncle who's our poster boy for Duolingo. He already got eight badges within the first five months that Duolingo came out. These are people who would never have gotten themselves to a class. They would never have tried. They would have been shamed, scared, whatever it is. But this allows them to engage, especially for our immersion parents, our immersion families, right? They want to allow a way to their children who are spending their entire school day in Hawaiian language, come home. They want to try it out. So this is easy for them. So what do you do? You go to the app store, you download Duolingo. Super easy, free, free app, free. <laughs> Nothing is free nowadays. <laughs> and then when you open it up, you're gonna see this little owl I don't know if you can see, but it's a green owl that pops up on your phone. You open it up, scroll down for Hawaii, and you're going to see choke languages, plenty, plenty languages. Look for Hawaiian. And it starts out with something that you can all be successful with. Aloha. <laughs> if you get that wrong, <laughs> that's why you should do Duolingo. <laughs> okay. But um, it starts really simple. Then it starts to rev up. And um, at this point, we have 13, we have 13 states now. 30, I don't know where we are. I don't know, we've been working on it for a while. We started back in August, um, and then we had no clue how this thing works. You know, how to upload, how to, how to in, put in the incubator. We didn't know anything about any of that. So it's a steep learning curve for all of us on the committee. Um, but. And then we were told, can you launch it in October, October 8th to be exact, because we want it to come out on World Indigenous Day. Well, that left us with one month after we finally kind of figured out what we were going to chat and put it up. Um, and we were able to get it going, but it was really weak at that point when we put it up. And that's the kind of feedback we got from people. Ah, this thing is, you know, oh, it's no good, it's so easy, what, well, you know. And we're like, yeah, 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 I'm sure you know what we got. <laughs> we'll put the challenge in front of the four of us. Okay, so here we go. So by February, we put out more. November, we put out another set. February, we, we have another one standing in the wings that we gave to them. We don't know what happened. We're still waiting for them. But it's been a task to work with Duolingo because it's a mainland company in Pennsylvania that um, 
they don't know what poke is, <laughs> um, you know, these things are important to us. We try to, um, we try to respond to all kinds of people. Our target audience is from Keiki all the way to Kukuna. Brothers and sisters, aunties and uncles, surfers, beer drinkers, you know, we, we run the gamut. We put everything out there. Some people like it, some people don't. I remember when our first one came out and it said, Yesu Pu. Oh my gosh. We got nailed by everybody who hated being a Christian. It was like, oh, oh, it's what we say. Some of us say that. We say Yesu Pu. We say Kyo Pu Pu. Some people don't like the fact that we say, you know, do you have a beer? It's like, okay, well, it's, it's for everyone. So you find yourself there, open a dictionary, substitute some words, next thing you know, you're having a conversation. It's not meant, again, for you to just work, you and the phone. Hui up with a group of people, download this app, start using it with each other. It has an audio recording on it, so you can just press the speaker button and it will speak to you so you can hear it. Yeah, so it's good stuff. If you haven't done it, how many of you have dueling on before? All right, okay. How many of you have the Hawaiian dueling on before? Okay, that means the rest of you need to put it on. Okay. <laughs> um, people who are doing it are amazing us at how fast they're going and the response that we're getting. If you don't like something or you think we're off about something, you can even report it and we respond to it. Um, because it's important that we have that kind of communication. So we're really excited to offer that. Again, it is not the end of be all to learn Hawaiian language, but it's a start. And it's a start so that you get yourself into one of these classes right here with an awesome pool. Because that's where Olelomi lives, is in the communication, in the wala'o. Yeah. I was told my students, I'm not trying to teach pen pals. Okay, <laughs> my kids will be, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm not trying to teach you how to text, all right? But um, yeah, that used to work back in the day. <laughs> a lot of like, what? Okay, but really, we're not trying to teach you to write things to each other, but to use, because Ola kaolelo we i kaolelo. I kaolelo, a ole i kakao ana. Why kai i kakao ana? Nui kwa kwa mahalo. If it wasn't that our kupuna wrote things down, we would not all be here to be able to speak the way we do today. So, nui ka mahalo ike ka ana, but ola ka olelo i ka olelo. No lega, mahalo nui ya o ku mahalo ka hele ana mai, it's just how old you can get that all over. I ike maka i ka opa, mahalo nui. Thank you.